hi welcome back in this video i'm going to be introducing us to the interface workspace or whatever you might want to call it but we call it the workspace actually okay the first bar here at the top is what we call the menu bar the menu bar is the top top most of the application window that displays the drop down menu or the drop down commands in photoshop then right below it is the option bar the option bar serves the same as the property bar in corridor it displays all necessary commands for any active tool activated here i have my toolbox if i should select any tool my option bar changes up here so my option bar just contains extra commands for any active tool from my toolbox okay there we have our toolbox my toolbox contains every tool every set of tools that are used on photoshop here we have our palettes and our panels our panels also are important in photoshop okay what is a workspace a workspace is simply an environment that is displayed to get our work done actually what makes photoshop interesting is simply because the almost everything is customizable in photoshop including the workspace you know as as a beginner if you open up photoshop and see a lot of things on the screen like this you're gonna feel discouraged you might feel photoshop is complex you can't understand what this is what all this is or what are these what all these are but photoshop is simply simple so you can actually customize it the way you want to get a better work environment here i can pretty much customize my workspace i might want to bring this layer panel by dragging on the name above there and place it here i might decide to grab my color and stuck it right beside my layer panel so I can switch between them then I can decide to grab my adjustment panel and just drop it here I can feel if I feel how these are not necessary I don't need them I can actually close them up I can drag them out all at once by clicking on the bar above it then I'm, I'm going to click the little X at the right corner here to close them. Then I can drop my adjustment layer here. Then bring my layer panel somewhere here. Then I can also drag my toolbox. So I can drop this here. In fact, I can also grab my option bar. Isn't that interesting? okay i can decide to have my workspace here i only have few panels and the toolbox viewed here so is photoshop really complex no so i can actually have my workspace like this i can keep on working like this i can get so much work done with this workspace but if i feel i've messed up a lot i've customized everything and I felt I've messed up a lot I want to get back to the default so how can I get that done all I need to do is come to my window menu then from the workspace the, me the second level menu displayed you would see essential defaults or you can just reset essentials if you click on that that is gonna bring back our default screen which we had before or whatever workspace we customized we can have it saved that way 
let's just get a workspace customized a bit let me grab my layer here then the rest let me try and close them out or down so i'm gonna dock my layer panel here where when till it shows a blue line that is when i'm gonna drop it then it's gonna dock there else if it doesn't show a blue line here and i just drop it it's not gonna dock it it's just gonna place it there but it has to show the blue line first before i can drop the panel i can decide to have my toolbox right beside my layer panel if i'm happy with this workspace i can decide to come here to my window menu workspace then new workspace i will get this dialog box asking me to input the name i want to use to save the workspace let's just save this as shexico and hit the save button so we now have our workspace saved if we check the right side of our screen we're gonna see the name we used in saving the workspace if i should drop down that menu i'm gonna see all the workspace i can activate i can activate painting which looks this way i can activate the essential i can activate photography and i can also activate our saved workspace so you can get things done easily without having a complex screen without having a limited work environment so i can just delete my workspace by clicking on delete workspace here if i click on this it's gonna ask to confirm which workspace i want to delete i can't actually delete my the shexico workspace which we customized why that is because it is active so we're just gonna select other workspace first then go to delete workspace though this is just a shortcut to that let's go through the normal way let's go to our window workspace and delete workspace delete workspace which workspace do we want to delete and we select it and click our delete button it's gonna ask us to confirm if we really want to delete it and we're gonna click our yes if we check back our workspace then we are not gonna find that there so that is just the simple simple explanation of the workspace join me on my next video and we are gonna get a lot more done thank you